my channel. My name is Shanti and today I have a super special video for you guys. I have another Instant Pot recipe video coming at ya and today I'm gonna be making mac and cheese right here in the Instant Pot. This recipe is super simple, only requires a few ingredients and it can all be made in the Instant Pot in about five minutes. I am absolutely obsessed with my Instant Pot. I'm always looking for new, fun ways to use it, and when I found out you could make mac and cheese in it, I was so excited, so I'm really happy to be bringing this recipe to you guys. I know you will love it. All right, let's get straight into the video. For ingredients, you will need any type of pasta of your choice. I am using brown rice penne for this recipe. One and a half cups of non-dairy milk. I am using Trader Joe's unsweetened soy milk. A half a cup of nutritional yeast. Two tablespoons of miso paste. If you don't have miso paste, you can sub for about a teaspoon or so of salt. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Two tablespoons of tahini. A quarter cup of lemon juice. And one tablespoon of mustard. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is cook your pasta in the Instant Pot. General rule for pasta is one pound of pasta to four cups of water. If you're using whole wheat pasta, this might vary a little bit. I've tested this ratio on white pasta, elbows, and the brown rice pasta, it worked great. But on whole wheat pasta, it might take a little bit more time. Into the pasta and water, I'm gonna be adding in one tablespoon of mustard, two tablespoons of miso or salt to your taste, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Give it a good mix to incorporate all the spices with the pasta and water, and then close the lid, set it to four minutes on manual. Once the timer goes off, you're gonna do a quick release, and this gets kind of messy. I think what you're actually supposed to do is a controlled quick release where you just hold the valve open slightly so it can slowly escape but I don't have time for that, so I just do a quick release, and then it does get a little bit messy, so you just wanna make sure you have a rag on hand to wipe up all the moisture that sprays out of the valve. So just be really careful not to burn yourself and not to spray pasta juice everywhere. After you do the quick release, you're gonna leave the Instant Pot on the warm function and then start stirring in the rest of your ingredients. Starting with the soy milk, lemon juice, tahini, and nutritional yeast. Then you just wanna give it a good mix to make sure all the ingredients are well incorporated in the pasta. I topped mine off with some homemade vegan Parmesan cheese that I made in a recipe video on my channel. You can make sure to go check that out as well. It gave it a nice bread crummy textured topping. I also topped it with some smoked paprika and some cayenne. And voila, that is the complete five minute mac and cheese in the Instant Pot recipe. So easy and delicious. There you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this five minute vegan Instant Pot mac and cheese. I had so much fun creating this recipe for you guys. Make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up if you liked it and let me know in the comments down below what other types of Instant Pot recipes you would want me to make. I am absolutely obsessed with my Instant Pot so I would love to hear some suggestions of what I should make next. I tried to make this recipe as healthy as I could while still being simple and easy to make. That's why I used the tahini, nutritional yeast, and non-dairy milk as a base, but you could just use like a packaged vegan cheese and that would be really easy and delicious as well and it would melt really easily right into the Instant Pot while you have it on the warm function. But I wanted to make this recipe healthy for you guys and still creamy and delicious. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go enjoy this delicious bowl of vegan mac. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!